My gum looks like a mouldy piece of cheese that's been left in the sun for too long. What is that colour scheme? No, oh, I think we're just gonna stick with the new town camo. Hey everyone, else Peely Screens Day, so welcome to another video which I'll be going through a life story which is quite a traumatic and uh, traumatic experience, I guess you could say. Before I jump into the story, I've got some machine guns diamond. As you can see, I'll bring up a little load out here. As you can see now, I've got diamond on the submachine guns. And then we go down to the KN44 for an assault rifle, for example. Then we have got diamond on that and it actually looks pretty sick so we are on to the shotguns now and this is a dark matter video don't worry i'm not going to do a dark matter series i'm completely cutting it off now because i want you to basically say i just want i don't want you to see my progress really i think it takes too long to prepare the videos and i don't think you guys would want to see another dark matter series so let's jump into a chaos mosh pit because that is a small map and try to get shotgun kills so you know it adds up. I mean, we basically play Newtown all the time when you're in this mosh pit thing, so, you know. I mean, you basically play Newtown all the time because I mean, when it's 24-7, you get Newtown all the time. And then when it's a Chaos mosh pit, which is small maps, there's, there's only, like, two maps that are small, so... Yeah. <laughs> I had a little bit of trouble with the like my recording software today. I had to restart my computer and I was like, no, please don't fail on me. I was just Skype calling my mum like a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> because like I wasn't answering my phone. Sorry mum. Are they actually gonna let me capture this whole flag on my own? Oh, sit down. <laughs> Oh no dude, oh my god. And she said I need to see a video because she was in work and she's in a job, she's not got that much things to do. She's a receptionist and uh, like it's dead, the place is dead. Oh my god, I am wrecking the- I've already got the integra- in the- in the- the green camo. I can't pronounce camo name. Can't I just go MW2 style and just start calling them blue and red and- In COD 4 and the older Call of Duties, I mean obviously they're running out of camo names now. Oh my god, I've got full streaks! With a shotgun? Oh, I am wrecking the- I'm, I'm actually 8 and 1. Oh no! Oh, if I would have done that, I would have dicked on that kid. So she told me that she was really bored at work and she wanted to see a video, so you know, what am I doing? Oh my god. So you know, this one's for you mum. So flippin' cringy. Oh, this never gets any kills, this. Three kills, sick. These babies are the bad boys. For a small package, what good thing's coming? <laughs> you know, yeah. Without further ado, let's continue, continue with the video. As they say in Spain, the exact same flipping thing as video, you know, just with a bit of an accent. When you try to act like you know like a different language and then you really don't, you just search it up and Google. I'll take a screenshot right now, you ready? I'm saving it. There we are. Yep, I've just, I, I searched it in on Google Translate. Why do I feel like shotguns are going to be so easy to get gold? So I'm going to be telling you the story of how I nearly claim came close to drowning to death. I know, very, very dramatic, but here you go. Now this was not recent, and this is quite an old story. I was recently reminded of this story, and this actually happened a long time ago. It happened when I was nearly starting, like, primary school in year, in year one, or reception, as we call it. And I was about four years old, and I was going to a beach. And it was a local beach, or oh, it was about 45 minutes away. So this beach was about 30 minutes away, and we went to the beach for a nice summer day, summer day, nice sunny summer day for a walk on the beach, basically. You have to, like, go for a little bit of a paddle, you have to come in your little s swimsuit if you have one, or just done it like me, where if there was ever a water, water amusement at any park whatsoever in the summer, then you'd literally just... You wouldn't even ask your parents, you'd just go in with your shorts and completely wreck your clothes. Sorry mum. And dad. Why am I getting so many HIT MARKERS? And they were all going for a little paddle because the 
the sea was out and that meant that we could just have a like have some fun paddle in the sand in the wet sand and you know go out to where the the water was coming a bit in and where my parents could see and I I just we could look have a little swim in there but I couldn't swim so I'd just stick to the the shallow end and I'd just paddle basically and jump around so what ended up happening is, is I was really intrigued to how like people could swim and all that so I just thought what a good idea it would be to go out to go out into like the, where the deep end is and as the water gets deeper the sand starts getting it doesn't just get thicker it doesn't grow in height you at the floor of the sand actually gets lower down like it stop it's like stairs basically going down if you didn't already know and it would basically just be like that kind of a man-made sort of thing so they would make it and it would be like stairs so you'd be on one the shallow end and then as soon as it went past where the floaty um the water floats where it would mark where it went deep I mean, I didn't know about them. How am I most supposed to know when uh, water gets dangerously deep? Like, I didn't know. Oh my god, that guy just literally just terrorised. He took him with me to the grave. So, the way that it's constructed on the sand of the bed, the beds, so where the water is, it'll go like that, and it'll go like bumpy and all that, where the waves have been, and then it'll just go from here, and then it'll just drop like that, so, and then it'll g keep going on for like another meter or so, and then it'll go drop, and then it'll drop again, and these drops would be about this big, like, it's only a little drop, but I was about three to four years old, and I was only about this big. <laughs> So that was three foot, like little three foot LSP, just Luke, little Luke walking, didn't know, not care in the world, and not a, like a vision to know that there was like a massive skyscraper drop where I'd just fall to my death. <laughs> and I would just strolling around like that, I don't know why that looks so gay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go now. I was just strolling along, paddling my little way through this flipping death trap, then here comes my phone, it just goes... <laughs> And I just tumble to the ground. Basically, I'm trying to jump up off the ledge, jump the ledge back up. But all these kids are just staring at me like that. And then one of this, one of these mums like this family who were just in this water in the shallow end, they're just looking at me like that. What's that dick? I don't know why I remember these details. I, I'm not lying. I'm fully remember it. And I'm trying to get this up, and I'm like trying to jump up, and I'm like, <gasps> I'm like this retarded whale who just can't get his breath. So eventually my mum spots me that I'm practically drowning and even though it's a little ed little ledge my mum has to come in and get me because I'm like scared for my flipping life. So she gets the clothes wet and I get I'm so wet because I'm not in like a swimsuit. So we end up having to go to like the nearest like place that sold clothes. I think it was Tesco and we had to get these little like the worst clothes ever. <laughs> yeah. That was that was that was a retard. Girl has seen all video espero que el serio yo saro costado y si tiene que hacer en de de calo en producto subscribe a se si es usted el nuevo en el canal como always cu ha sido y colia el espia I'm sending off de la pass. Guys, got any of that then? Make sure to do that.